Hi friends, this is Naresh. This is my fourth lecture on mechanics of solids or strength of materials subject. In this session, I am going to explain about some simple problems on stresses. Now, uh, the first problem is uh, a coil chain of a crane required to carry a maximum load of 50 kN is uh, shown in figure. Find the diameter of the link stock. If the permissible tensile stress in the link material is not to exceed 75 MPa. Okay. Here in this question, uh, the maximum load acting on the chain is given that is uh, 50 kilonewtons is given that is uh, capital P so that is a uh, load okay load acting on the bar is given that is P equal to 50 kilonewtons here K is the kilonewton so that's why you have to convert that kilo into newtons so you have to multiply with thousand okay to convert this kilo newton into newtons okay and find here you have to find the diameter of the, this chain okay you have to find this value that is the diameter of the link okay so you have to find the value of d and here the stress the permissible tensile stress in the link material is in is not to exceed 75 mega pascal is given that means here the maximum permissible tensile stress in induced in the this link material is given okay when you are applying tensile loads when you are applying tensile loads or compressor loads the stresses are induced in the material so here the maximum stress induced in the material is 75 mega pascal this is the value of sigma okay this is a stress okay here you are applying the tensile loads okay that's why it is a tensile stress okay so this one is a tensile stress and this one is the load this one is the diameter so here you don't know the size of the link that is the diameter of the link you have to find that value so for that purpose uh, from given data uh, here load load equal to 50 kilonewtons so 50 kilo equal to thousand so 50,000 newtons okay then after the tangent stress is given that is a 75 mega pascal okay so uh, here the symbol for stress is uh, sigma sigma t okay sigma t means tangent stress and the value is 75 mega pascal here 1 mega 1 mega equal to uh, 10 power 6 pascal or here 1 mega pascal 1 mega pascal equal to 1 mega pascal equal to 1 newton 1 newton per mm square okay in terms of mm's uh, the 1 mega pascal equal to 1 newton per mm square or 1 mega pascal equal to 10 power 6 10 power 6 in terms of uh, meters 10 power 6 10 power 6 newton per meter square okay in terms of meters 1 mega pascal equal 10 power 6 newton per meter square in terms of mm 1 mega pascal equal 1 newton per mm square so if you want to if you want to convert the answer in mm then you have to substitute the values in mm okay so here i substitute the values i converted the values in mm so 1 mega pascal equal to 1 newton per mm square so there is no need to convert so 75 so answer will be in mm okay so the diameter of finally the diameter of the link also in mm okay so here small d is the diameter of the link okay so already we know that uh, in previous class already we have discussed about the cross-sectional areas cross-sectional area of a circular cross circular plane 
okay here yeah, this is a circle circle having diameter d then the area of a circle equal to pi by 4 d square okay this is the formula for area of a circle so the value of pi by 4 equal to 0 0.7854 into d square here the value of d you have to find that value then after uh, already we know that the stress stress sigma equal to load by area okay the formula for stress equal to load by area so here uh, already we know the value of p okay p and uh, already we know the value of sigma but we don't know the value of a here the here i the formula is uh, load p here load p equal to so you have to, to use the formula this one a goes that side then load a load p equal to stress into cross section area so this is the formula for load so here i am using the this formula so here p is equal to 50000 and sigma equal to sigma t that value is 75 and capital a equal to 0 0.7854 d square okay then the value of 75 into 0 0.7854 d square equal to 58.9 d square and uh, and uh, bring this value into yeah you have to move this uh, 58.9 value into left side then the value of uh, d square is obtained that is uh, 850 and then after you have to square uh, you have to square root of uh, this value you can get the value of uh, diameter of the shaft that is a uh, 29.1313 mm is the answer for diameter of a link and the rounded value is uh, 30 mm so the required uh, diameter of the chain is uh, 30 mm Okay, so this is the answer for this problem. Okay. Now, coming to the second problem, that is uh, a cast iron link uh, okay this is a cast iron link is shown in figure is required to transmit a steady tensile load of uh, 45 kilonewtons find the tensile stress induced in the link material at sections aa and bb okay this is the question in this question uh, the load maximum load acting on this uh, link is uh, 45 kilonewtons so this value is p okay the load the load acting on this uh, link is p equal to 45 kilonewtons that is uh, 1 kilo equal to 10 power 3 so 45000 newton okay this is the given value and uh, here this is a uh, section b this is also section b so these both are same okay when you are cutting this uh, this link then the area area at this uh, section bb at the section bb is uh, like this okay this is the sectional area at the section at the bb section okay this is the area of a is the area of a link at section bb okay and when you are cutting the link at uh, aa section then the cross section of the of the link is like this okay this is the this is the cross sectional area of a link at the aa section okay so this is the at the aa okay this is the shape of a link at the aa section aa okay at the aa section so uh, by using these two areas by using these two sections we have to find the, the value of uh, tensile stress acting at uh, section a and section bb okay here here in given data we have uh, two 
areas okay area at a and area at bb so now i am splitting this uh, problem into two cases that is uh, case one is uh, transistors induced in a section a okay first of all i am going to the the solve the problem for a section a so here this uh, section at section a the cross sectional area is a rectangle the dimensions are uh, 20 mm 20 mm base and 40 mm height so this is the dimensions of rectangle so <coughs> already we know that the area of a rectangle is equal to base into height so the area a1 equal to here i consider this area as a1 and this area as a2 okay so area 1 equal to 45 into 20 so this is the area of a rectangle that is a 900 mm square so this is the area for uh, section a okay now already we know that stress stress equal to load by area this is the formula for stress here you have to find the value of tensile stress because here we are applying the tensile loads okay here the value of p equal to 45 kilonewtons okay so tensile is the symbol for tensile stress equal sigma t and for section one i can consider sigma t1 okay sigma t1 equal to load load on uh, section aa divided by area of a section aa okay yeah, the load is same at section A and at section B. So uh, the load P equal to 45,000 divided by area 1. Area 1 equal to the area of a, this uh, rectangle, solid rectangle equal to 900. Okay, 45 to 21, 900 mm square. So the tensile stress induced in the material, in, induced in the link at section A equal to uh, 50 Newton per mm square. Because here the load in Newton and the area in uh, mm square so the for the units for uh, stress equal to newton per mm square that is a mega pascal so the stress induced in the link at section a equal to 50 mm 50 mpa mega pascal okay this is the answer for uh, section a okay now we have to find the stress induced in the link at uh, section bb okay for uh, case uh, for this case you have to consider uh, area area for this link area of this uh, section okay at section bb the shape is uh, like this this is a hollow rectangle okay for first of all you have to find the area of the outside rectangle that is the dimension of outside rectangle or uh, 20 20 base and the height 75 Okay, 75 height and 20 mm base. So area of a outside rectangle equal to 20 into 75. Okay, 20 into 75. 20 into 75 for outside rectangle. Okay, then after you have to subtract the inside rectangle because the inside rectangle is a hole. Okay, this is a hole. So that's why you have to subtract this uh, inside rectangle. So the dimensions for inside rectangle equal to base 20 and height 40. So the area of the inner rectangle equal to uh, 20 by 40. Okay, 20 by 40. So you have to subtract this uh, area from area 1. So, so 20 outside rectangle 20 by 75 minus inside rectangle 20 by 40 this is the area of a this uh, section at the bb okay so the area of a second section a2 equal to 20 by 75 minus 20 by 20 into 40 this is the area for a2 and the answer is 700 mm square okay and uh, and the same formula for uh, tensile stress induced in the link at section BB. Stress uh, for, uh, for second area, so you have to consider sigma T suffix 2. Okay, suffix 2 refers uh, area 2. Okay, sigma T refers uh, tensile stress. So sigma T 2 equal to load by area. Load by area equal to load. Here the load acting on this link is same at section 1, at section A and at section B. So the load is 45,000 
and the area to be equal to 700 mm square so the answer is uh, 64.3 newton per mm square this is the a stress induced in the link at section bb uh, here one newton per mm square equal to one mega pascal so final answer is 64.3 mega pascal okay this is the answer for section bb okay now coming to the another problem that is uh, this problem is a uh, is a different problem as compared to previous problems a hydraulic press uh, exerts a total load of uh, 3.5 mega newtons m means mega okay n means newton so the load total load acting on hydraulic press hydraulic press is given okay here the problem is uh, a hydraulic press so the load acting on a hydraulic press is a 3.5 mega newtons so this is the load p okay so this one is a load p so this is load p and uh, this load is carried by two steel rods supporting the upper head of the press okay if the same stress is 85 85 uh, mega pascal so here the stress is given so this is a sigma okay sigma this is a sigma is given and uh, this one is uh, capital e means young's modulus in previous class already we have discussed about uh, young's modulus bulk modulus and shear modulus okay so here capital a is the modulus of elasticity or young's modulus okay uh, it is in uh, kilo kilo newton per mm square that is a giga pascal okay here you have to find the diameter of the rods and extension in each rod in a length of 2.5 meters okay here this is the diagram for a hydraulic press this is the hydraulic press plate okay here the total load acts on this hydraulic press plate okay the load acting on this plate is a p p equal to 3.5 mega newtons okay that means uh, 3.5 into 1 mega equal 10 power 6 so 3.5 10 power 6 newtons so, so this is the total load okay p equal to 3.5 3.5 into 10 power 6 okay sorry uh, 10 power 6 so the total load acting on uh, this uh, three point five into ten power six. Okay, so P equal to three point five mega newton. One mega equal to ten power six uh, newtons. Okay, three point five ten power six newtons load acting on the hydraulic press, and this load, this total load uh, carried by these uh, two supporting rods okay these two are supporting rods so this uh, this total load p carried by these uh, two rods so the this load uh, p the total load p is uh, is shared by these uh, two two rods so this you have to divide this load p into two equal parts because uh, this load is supported by two rods so uh, the load supported by each rod is equal to half of the total load so so the total load acting on uh, this rod each rod equal to load by two load by two okay because this this total load carried by these two rods so the load acting on each rod equal to half of the load okay so p by two p by two is the load acting on the rod so now this is the our uh, required uh, diameter so the diameter of uh, rod each rod equal to small d you have to find the diameter of this uh, supporting rods okay then after you have to find the uh, elongation or extension in the each rod when this load is acting in downward direction when the load acting in downward direction these uh, two rods are elongated by tensile load okay so you have to find the 
a extension or elongation in each rod okay so uh, here from given data the stress is also given that is uh, sigma equal to uh, 85 mega pascal is given okay Eng's modulus also is given that is cap Lee and the load is also given p equal to 3.5 times power 6 and uh, original length also is given this is the original length okay the length of uh, this rod each rod okay from here to here the length of this rod is equal to l okay the original length is l yeah original length is given you have to find the value of uh, change in length that is delta l here you have to find the value of delta l in second case you have to find value of delta l okay in first case you have to find the value of diameter d okay this is delta l here you have to find delta l here you have to find the value of diameter of shaft okay so first in first case you have to find the diameter of the rods so so the area cross-sectional area of uh, this uh, circular shaft is called pi by 4 d square okay here the value of d is not known so the value of pi by 4 equal to 0.7854 into d square so this is the cross-sectional area of this uh, rod each rod okay then after already we know that uh, the load acting on this each rod is equal to p by 2 okay so the load acting on each rod equal to p1 okay p1 equal to p by 2 so 3.5 into 10 power 6 is the total load divided by 2 so 1.75 into 10 power 6 newtons this load acting on each rod okay so then the formula for uh, load load or stress stress equal to stress equal to load by area so here the load is a p1 okay p1 divided by cross section area of the rod okay so p1 equal to this one this value and area equal to this one okay so here you know just uh, load p equal to sigma into a okay stress into area stress into area this is the formula for load okay total load here the load load acting on each rod p1 equal to stress stress induced in the rod into area of the cross section area of the rod so here the load p1 equal to 1.75 into 10 power 6 equal to sigma sigma the value of sigma also is given that is 85 mega pascal so 85 mega pascal or 85 newton per mm square okay and the capital a equal to 0 0.78 5 for d square okay you have to substitute these are all values in this formula you will get the value of diameter d okay this is the diameter so d square equal to 26213 mm mm square uh, then after uh, finally the value d equal to 162 mm okay this is the answer for uh, case uh, for step one okay d is the diameter of the each rod okay so our uh, required diameter of our rod equal to 162 mm okay for supporting the load of uh, p equal to 3.5 to 10 power 6 newtons okay this is a sufficient uh, diameter okay this diameter is uh, required for uh, supporting this load okay Now, uh, in second case, you have to find the uh, change in length. Okay, extension in each rod means change in length. When you are applying this tensile load, okay, there is an increase in length. There is increase in length in each rod. The change in length in each bar is same. Okay, so you have to consider the original length of the rod L. L equal to 2.5 meters. This is the original length and you have to find the value of change in length delta l okay yeah in second case you have to uh, use hooke's law that is a that is a stress by strain stress by strain stress by strain equal to Eng's modulus okay this is a hooke's law for uh, materials 
So here the sigma sigma equal to load by area k p one by a the load on uh, rod divided by area is the formula for stress divided by and epsilon epsilon is the strain so delta l change in change in length by original length this is the formula for strain is equal to x small less okay this is the formula for uh, x small less okay in our given data capital e x small less is also given okay the value of x small less is equal to 210 this value is e okay this value is a capital E, capital E is given, 210 gigapascal is given, that is a 210 in 10 power 3, Newton per mm square, capital E value, and P1 value also we know, okay, and area, area of the circular rods also, we found, we found that, and delta L, we don't know about delta L, we want to, to find this value we have to find this value and uh, l the length of the original length of the bar is also given so substitute all these values in uh, this equation you will get the value of delta l okay the answer for delta l equal to delta l equal to uh, 1 1.0 1.01 1.012 mm okay this is the answer for extension in the rod okay so here when you can observe here this uh, by using this formula you have to move this uh, delta l then p1 p by a equal to sigma sigma you this value also you know that so sigma so sigma into this value comes in numerator comes to numerator that is a delta sigma l by delta l okay delta l equal to capital E. Okay, this is the formula for n smallest. Okay. Here the value of sigma already we know that and uh, capital L is given that is a two point that is uh, the length of the yeah the the length of each rod is equal to 2.5 meters. Okay. So capital L equal to 2.5 meters. Uh, you have to convert that meter into mm. So 2.5 into 1000 that is 2.5 into 1000 mm okay and uh, you don't know about value of delta l you have to find this value so uh, you know sigma l and e values okay so by substituting these three values you will get the answer delta l okay this is our required uh, answer for uh, this case okay the extension in each rod or a change in length or uh, in are increased in length or elongation elongation in each rod is equal to delta l okay the answer is 1.012 mm okay this is the answer our required answer now coming to another problem this is a very big problem in this session Okay, the question is uh, a rectangular base plate is fixed at each of uh, its four corners by a 20 mm diameter bolt, 20 mm diameter bolt and the nut, bolt and nut as shown in figure, the plate rests on washers of 22 mm internal diameter and 50 mm external diameter, copper washer which are placed between the nut and the plate or 22 mm internal diameter and 44 external diameter okay if the base plate carries a load of 120 kilo newtons including self weight which is equally distributed on the four corners calculate the stress on the lower washers before the nuts are tightened 
what could be the stress in the upper and lower washers when the nuts are tightened so as to produce a tension of 5 kN on each bolt okay this is the question okay in this question two washers are uh, given okay one bigger washer this uh, washer is uh, here this is a lower washer this bigger washer is a lower washer the dimensions of this washer is given that is the inner diameter called 22 mm and the outside diameter called 50 mm these are the dimensions for uh, this lower washer and this one is a upper washer okay this one this one is a upper washer so the dimensions of this upper washer is called 22 mm inner diameter and 44 mm 44 mm outer diameter okay by using these two washers uh, uh, we have to find the uh, stresses okay uh, stresses are produced in uh, each washer okay here uh, this is a nut and this one is a bolt okay by using this uh, bolt and nut uh, we tighten the tightening the plates okay so this is a base plate this one also a base plate okay between uh, nut and uh, this upper base plate a washer upper washer is uh, used and between the upper base plate and the lower base plate uh, we are using a lower washer okay so in this case uh, you have to find uh, in this case you have to find the stresses stresses on the lower washer before the nuts are tightened this is the case one okay before tightening the bolt and nut you have to find the stresses induced in the lower washer okay this is the step one this is the case one for uh, this problem and the case two is uh, you have to find the stresses induced in uh, upper and uh, lower washers you have to find the stresses induced in the upper washer and lower washer when you are uh, tightening the a uh, bolt and, and nuts okay so this is the case two okay so now coming to the coming to our answer yeah the from given question the data given data is uh, 20 mm 20 mm diameter bolt this one this vertical one is a bolt this horizontal one is a nut Okay, the dimensions of uh, this bolt, the diameter of the bolt equal to 20 mm. Okay, this uh, the diameter of this bolt equal to 20 mm. So, uh, small d, I can say the size, the diameter of the bolt is equal to d, d equal to 20 mm, and d1 equal to 22 mm, and d2 equal to 50 mm. These two are the diameters of uh, diameters of lower washer okay d1 equal to 20 m 22 and d2 equal to 50 m so these uh, d1 and d2 these two diameters are are uh, dimensions for this uh, lower washer okay this one this lower washer these are the dimensions for lower washer okay and uh, d3 and d4 d3 equal to 22 mm and d4 equal to 44 mm these two are the dimensions for uh, upper washer okay this this is upper washer uh 22 mm diameter and 44 mm d3 and d4 these two diameters for uh, dimensions of this uh, smaller washer okay first of all you have to find the cross-sectional areas okay cross-sectional area of uh, each washer first you have to find that uh, areas okay here this is a halo circle this is one this one also halo circle so the formula for uh, area of a halo circle equal to uh, pi by 4 pi by 4 into outer diameter minus uh, outer diameter square minus inner diameter square so this is the formula for area so for uh, for bigger washer for uh, this area one area one of uh, this uh, 
lower washer this lower washer area uh, pi by 4 into outer diameter square that is 50 square minus inner diameter square that is 22 square this is the formula and the value of uh, area of this lower washer equal to 1583 mm square okay the area of this washer equal to 1583 mm square similarly the cross sectional area of this lower section this upper upper section upper washer is equal to pi by 4 into uh, outer diameter of uh, this uh, washer that is 44 square minus inner diameter square that is a 22 square so the area of uh, this upper washer equal to 1140 1140 mm square okay these are the cross sectional areas okay by using these two cross sectional areas you have to find the uh, values of stresses stresses induced in uh, washers okay here the here the load total load 120 kilonewtons acting on uh, four corners okay four washers so uh, that means uh, two are the washers and remaining two are the base plates so totally the total load 120 kilonewtons uh, load acting on these four plates okay so first of all you have to you have to distribute this uh, 120 kilonewtons into four parts so then the load acting on each washer or each uh, plate equal to total load divided by number of plates or number of washers that is equal to 120 by 4 here we are using two washers and uh, two plates so the total number of uh, washers and plates equal to 4 okay so that's why you have to divide uh, or uh, you have to divide or distribute total load okay total load into four parts that is a uh, 120 by 4 equals 30 kilonewtons. so the the load acting on each plate each plate or each washer equal to uh, 30 kilonewtons. this okay this is the load acting on each washer okay now the stress induced in uh, lower washer the okay the stress induced in lower washer equal to stress equal to load by area already we know the formula of stress equal to load by area so here the load on wash each wash equal to 30,000 divided by uh, area of uh, lower washer area of uh, lower wash equal to this one this one is a lower washer the area of this lower wash equal to 1583 so the stress induced in lower wash equal to load by area equal to 1818.95 newton per mm square okay this is the stress induced in this uh, lower washer okay by using same formula load by area 2 if you are uh, substituting the a uh, load p1 by area 2 then you will get the stress induced in uh, this uh, this cross section that is upper washer okay you can also find the stress induced in upper washer okay these values are uh, before nuts tightening okay when when you are applying a force to tightening the nuts okay that is uh, you are applying a force uh, 5 kilonewtons for tightening the nuts and bolt then this load also acting on the, the upper washer okay when you are applying the tightening force on bolt and nuts that force acting on this upper washer okay then the stress induced in uh, this upper washer is equal to load acting on this upper washer divided by cross sectional area of uh, this upper washer okay the cross sectional area of uh, this upper washer equal to 1140 okay and the load acting on uh, the tightening load acting on uh, this upper washer equal to 5 kilonewtons that is 5000 so then the stress induced in upper washer when the nut is tightened is uh, 4.38 mega pascal okay this is the stress induced in upper plate when the nut is tightened tightened okay so this is the answer for uh, this case and the stress on the lower washer when the nuts are tightened uh, 
similarly you have to find the value of uh, stress induced in uh, in lower washer when nuts are tightened okay the total load acting on uh, this uh, lower washer equal to uh, the load compress the load acting on uh, lower washer plus uh, the tightening load acting on lower washer that is the total load acting on uh, lower washer okay so the total load equal p1 plus p2 okay 30000 newtons load plus uh, p2 equal to tightening load that is 5000 this is the total load acting on uh, lower washer okay so the stress induced in lower washer equal to stress equal to load by area so load acting on lower washer divided by cross sectional area of the lower washer okay so this is the area of a lower washer 1583 and p1 plus p2 is the total load acting on the lower washer so the total uh, answer is uh, final answer is uh, 22.11 newton per mm square okay this is the answer for uh, this problem okay now coming into the last problem in this session okay the problem is uh, the piston rod of a steam steam engine okay the piston rod of a steam engine is 50 mm in diameter uh, 50 mm in diameter and 600 mm long the diameter of the piston is 400 mm and the maximum steam pressure is uh, 0 0.9 newton per mm square find the compression of the piston rod if the Young's modulus for the material of the piston rod is 210 kilo newton per mm square okay yeah this is the diagram for uh, steam engine uh, piston rod okay this is the piston this upper portion is a piston okay the size of the piston is given that is the diameter of the piston diameter of the piston this is a diameter here the diameter of the piston equal 400 mm so this one is a diameter 400 mm and uh, the load the total pressure steam pressure acting on this uh, piston equal to 0 0.9 newton per mm square okay this is the pressure pressure acting on the piston okay pressure or load acting on the piston and uh, 50 mm diameter steam in the piston rod this is the piston rod this bottom uh, this bottom rod is a piston rod the uh, diameter of this rod equal 50 mm and the length of this rod equal 600 mm okay so the dimensions of this piston rod is given okay this upper portion is a piston and this bottom portion is a piston rod okay so the diameter of the piston rod equal to 50 mm and length equal to 600 mm this is the original length this is the original diameter okay when you are applying a steam pressure on the piston okay then the total load this load will be acting on uh, this rod when this uh, steam pressure acting on this rod uh, that force is a uh, is uh, converted into compressive force that compressive force compresses the the piston rod okay then the size of the the length of the piston rod may be decreased okay so you have to find that value okay find the compression of a piston rod okay so you have to find that value compression length okay that is uh, you have to find the change in length change in length in a piston rod okay the given data is a uh, small d equal to diameter of this piston rod this is a small d equal to 50 mm and length of the piston rod equal to 600 mm that is l original length l equal to 600 mm and the diameter of this uh, piston equal to 400 mm capital d okay and the pressure the pressure acting on the piston equal to 0 0.9 okay this is the pressure steam pressure p equal to 0 0.9 okay this is the pressure 0 0.9 newton per mm square and uh, Young's modulus for the piston material equal to 210 giga pascal okay and you have to, in this problem you have to find the value of uh, change in length okay change in length in uh, piston rod okay 
this is a l okay you have to find the change in length in this piston rod first of all you have to find the total load acting on uh, this rod you have to find that value okay here the load acting on the uh, yeah this one is a small p this one is capital p okay capital p is the total load acting on piston rod small p is the pressure okay steam pressure okay so the total load acting on uh, this uh, rod equal to load acting on uh, this uh, piston okay you have to convert the this uh, pressure into load first of all you have to convert this pressure steam pressure into load okay here the you know that the pressure p pressure p equal to formula for pressure Uh, here the pressure uh, pressure equal to steam pressure this is a uh, steam steam pressure equal to uh, load load by load by cross sectional area of the piston okay area of the piston okay so here this one is a capital p so i want the value of uh, this load so p equal to p equal to uh, cross sectional area into pressure so area into pressure okay area into pressure is the formula for uh, this load load acting on piston so the load acting on piston equal to uh, pressure steam pressure into area of the piston so the area of the piston equal to pi by 4 d square this is the diameter of the piston so d is the equal to 400 so pi by 4 d square is the area of the piston so area of the piston equal to 12 mm square okay 1 lakh 25680 okay 1 lakh 25680 mm square is the cross sectional area of the piston okay so area into pressure pressure equal to 0 0.9 newton per mm square okay then the load acting on piston is obtained that value is called capital p okay this value the load acting on this piston is obtained that is 1 lakh 13110 newtons okay then after uh, that load this uh, 1 lakh 13110 this load acting on this rod okay so you have by using this value you have to find the change in length okay change in length in this uh, rod okay so first of all you have to find the diameter of uh, so first of all you have to know the cross sectional area of uh, this piston rod okay the diameter is given that is 50 mm so the area equal to pi by 4 d square uh, okay that is 1964 mm square is the area of a this uh, rod okay now then after we know the formula for uh, Young's modulus Young's modulus equal to here the Young's modulus capital E Young's modulus capital E equal to stress by stress by strain okay this is the formula for Young's modulus now uh, the another formula for uh, Young's modulus capital E equal to stress equal to load load P by area load by area area of a piston rod okay area of this piston rod divided by divided by strain strain equal to the change in change in length by original length change in length by original length this is the formula for Young's modulus okay the final formula is uh, Young's modulus uh, capital E equal to uh, P by A P by A okay P by A and uh, this L most here and this one is uh, delta L 
okay this is the formula for Young's modulus okay Young's modulus equal to stress by strain stress equal to load by area and strain equal to delta l by l okay then the final answer is uh, final formula is uh, Young's smallest is equal to load load by area into l by delta l okay so by using this formula you have to substitute all the values load load acting on this piston rod and length original length of the this piston rod this is the l this is the original length of the piston rod by cross sectional area for this piston rod into delta l okay here you know the value of uh, capital e okay we don't know the value of delta l you have to find the value of this delta l okay and the final answer for uh, change in length that is uh, delta l equal to 0 0.165 165 mm okay this is the answer for this problem okay this is the compressed length compressed length are decreasing decreased in length in a piston rod okay so in this problem first you have to find the a diameter first you have to find the area of this uh, piston okay this is piston the area of this piston equal to uh, pi by 4 d square the diameter of this piston equal to 400 so by using uh, this diameter you have to find the area of the piston then after you have to convert this uh, pressure acting on this piston into load load acting on piston okay so then after that load is uh, converted into stress stress induced in this uh, this piston rod okay by using Young's smallest formula you have to find the change in length in this piston rod okay this is the procedure for uh, this problem okay here you can observe here first here capital D capital D is the diameter of the piston okay this is the diameter capital D is the diameter of the piston okay pi by 4 d square is the area of this piston area of this cross sectional area of this piston okay and by using uh, this formula you have to find the value of load acting on piston but here the pressure acting on piston is given okay so the formula for uh, pressure and load is uh, pressure p equal to load by area okay steam pressure equal to load acting on piston divided by cross sectional area of the piston here the cross section area of the piston equal to capital 5 by 4 d square that is a uh, 1,25,680 okay and p p is the load we don't know the load acting on piston okay you have to find that load okay that is the important one for our problem so p equal to uh, 1,13,110 is the load acting on this piston okay that load also uh, acting on this uh, piston rod okay same load acting on this uh, piston rod so by using that load now then after i i am uh, finding the value of uh, value of uh, change in length okay change in length uh, that means uh, along uh, compression compression in uh, this piston rod okay here yeah, the load acting on this uh, piston rod is a uh, compressor load okay so that's why this uh, piston rod uh, decreases the length okay 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 friends uh, in next class uh, we will discuss about uh, more problems Thank you.